these clothes are great. I wonder which one I like best. Hey, that red and gold jacket is brilliant. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> hello, small. Hello, everyone. I've just been shopping. Do you like my new clothes? I don't believe it. I've just been looking at clothes like yours in my magazine, Ben. <laughs> Your clothes are designed by the best fashion designers. They're amazing. I didn't realise you were into fashion small. Well, nothing much fits me. But it doesn't matter because I just love looking at the pictures in my magazine. Well, let's have a look then. <gasps> well, who'd have thought it? Big Cook Ben in top designer fashion. Ho oh ho! Sounds like we've got a customer. I better go and change out of my brand new clothes if I'm going to be cooking. Go and see who it is, Small. I'm on my way. Whoosh! Who's our customer today, Small? I'll give you a clue. She has a sketch pad and she's drawing clothes. Oh, oh, I know. It's Vanella, the fashion designer. You're right, Ben. Now, what can we cook for a fashion designer? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, my friend phoned to tell me about a big fashion show that was being held in the city. It all sounded very exciting, so I climbed onto my spoon and whizzed away to see for myself. When I arrived at the fashion show, I couldn't believe my eyes. There was a huge catwalk, bright lights, and fashion designers with lots of different clothes on rails. One designer had clothes that he'd made from denim. There were big flared denim jeans and denim jackets with lots of rips in them. Another designer had gone completely dotty. All her clothes were spotty. <laughs> One designer had made all her clothes pink. It was then that I spotted Fenella, the fashion designer. She looked very sad. In fact, big tears were pouring from her eyes. Her clothes rail was completely empty. I asked her what the matter was, and she told me that her clothes hadn't arrived. What was she going to do? A fashion designer without fashion? I knew I had to do something to help, so I asked her if she had any material left over. Oh yes, she said, but it's such a small piece of material, it won't be enough. Well, the material wouldn't have been big enough for a big person. But it was plenty to make some clothes for a little person like me. So I helped Vanella make me a brand new suit of clothes. We had to work fast, but by the time the show began, we were ready. Woohoo! My job wasn't over yet. I needed to model the clothes too, so I set off along the catwalk. It was a great success. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, you were brilliant, Small. Way! Helping to make clothes and model them. Oh, that must have been great fun. Oh. <laughs> Way! Hey, do you think I'd be good on the catwalk, Small? Oh, you'd be great, Ben. But I think you should stick to cooking. You're really brilliant at that. Now we need to work out what to cook for Fenella, the fashion designer. Hmm. Oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. That's it, Small. I found it. Look! That's perfect, Ben. Fancy fashion biscuits. Brilliant for Fenella, the fashion designer. OK, you read out the ingredients small and I'll see if we've got them. 
OK, let's see. We're going to need an orange. Orange. Over to the fruit bowl. Got that small. Butter or cooking margarine. In the fridge. Here we go. Butter. Got it. Caster sugar. Caster sugar. Yep, got that. Plain flour. Plain flour. Here we are. Got the flour small. Icing sugar. Icing sugar. Yep. Food colourings. You can use natural colourings if you like. In your favourite colours. And a little hot water. I can get that from the kettle later. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. What's the hot water for, Small? Well, it says here it's for the icing decoration. Ooh, I don't know a lot about icing. Hmm. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out how it's done and I'll get everything ready. Good idea, Ben. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Well, hey, this is going to be lots of fun. The lady is going to decorate a cake. She's using coloured icing. Can you see what colour icing it is? It's yellow! Oh, now she's using red icing. And that's blue. Have you guessed what they are? That's called a piping bag. This time, the icing is pushed through the hole at the end to make a pattern. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! It's three balloons. And that's the string attached to the balloons. Oh, look! That's a cutter. It's cutting the icing into a shape. There's lots of them. What do you think they are? They're flowers. Pretty pink and yellow flowers. What a beautiful cake. That was great. I can't wait to tell Ben. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> do I look cool? No. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Way! I'm back! That was brilliant, Ben. I saw a cake being decorated with different tools. And I've brought back some ready coloured icing. Woohoo! There's blue, red, and yellow. Wow! Thanks, Small. Hey! <laughs> Well, you seem to be the icing expert, so I'll tell you what, why don't you be the designer for Fenella's fancy fashion biscuits? That's a brilliant idea, Ben. I might not be able to wear fashion, but that doesn't stop me being a fashion designer. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fancy fashion biscuits? You do? There was an orange, the grated rind of one, the inside you can eat later. Butter or cooking margarine. 125 grams, cut into little pieces. Caster sugar. 50 grams. Plain flour. 175 grams. And for the icing, icing sugar. 200 grams. Food colourings. Any colour you like. Softened butter or cooking margarine. 100 grams. 
and a little hot water. A few drops. Whoopee! Let's get started! OK, the first thing we're going to do is turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark 4. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot! <laughs> Can I make a start on the designs, Ben? Not yet, Small. We need to make the biscuit mixture first. So, put the flour... In we go. The sugar... There it is. The butter or margarine... In it goes. And the orange rind... Into a bowl like this. And give it a stir... So that all the little pieces of butter are coated with the flour. Way! Do 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 So rub the butter into the flour and sugar gently using your fingertips until the mixture's all crumbly. Like this. What are you doing, Small? I decided to make a start on the designs, Ben. Look! Hoo-hoo! Looking good, Small. But I'd better get on with the biscuit mixture. So, keep rubbing the butter in until the mixture starts to clump together to make a dough. Like this. Hoo-hoo-hoo! If it's still a bit crumbly, you can add a few drops of milk, but not too much. <laughs> I've shaped the dough mixture into a ball, ready to roll it out. There! Look, Ben, I've designed a jumper with red flowers on it. <laughs> wow, flower power! <laughs> you really are a good fashion designer, Small. So, I'm going to flower the board and the rolling pin and then roll out the dough. It needs to be about one centimetre thick. Turn it round. And now I need some help from the fashion designer. Oh! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I'll start with your jumper design then. Here we go. You need to cut the cloth shapes out of the dough using a blunt table knife. Looking good! Hey, Ben, how about some trousers and some boots to go with the flower power jumper? <laughs> OK, boss. I think these boots are going to be difficult because they're a tricky shape. You're right, designer small. I need to be really careful cutting out these boots. <laughs> these look brilliant now, so I'm going to carefully put them onto a greased baking tray. I've greased the baking tray so the biscuits don't stick. Perfect. Thank you, Small. And now we need to pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. There we go. Open the oven. And in they go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. And now I'm going to make some white icing. So I will pop in the butter, nice and soft, and I'm going to beat it with a wooden spoon until it goes all creamy. Then sift in the icing sugar. OK, Small, sifting now. Here we go. In it goes. Give it a good old Steady. shake. Steady! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Small. <laughs> That'll do. And then ask your grown-up helper to pour in the hot water. Just a few drops. Quick stir. Round we go. <coughs> Mixed in. And there we go. Icing. If you want to make the icing into different colours, you can add a few drops of food colouring. Or you could use ready-made icing pens or cake decorations. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Our biscuits are cooked and cooled now, so... I'm going to need your help, designer small. Well, for the jumper, I would like an arrangement of red flowers. Oh, very nice. <laughs> now, I've put the icing into this piping bag. I'm going to pipe on little dots of icing, like this, so that the flowers stick. There's one, and another. On goes the flower. You're getting really good at this, Ben. There we are, Small, the flowery dress. Marvellous! Small's designer collection. Fenella will love these. Well, let's see, shall we? Fancy fashion biscuits coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes, Small! And it looks like Fenella enjoyed her fancy fashion biscuits. Look! She's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My fancy fashion biscuits were delicious! Woohoo! <laughs> to say thank you, I've been busy making a set of top fashion designer clothes for Small. From Fenella the fashion designer. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at these. These are fantastic, Small. Wow! Here you go. Brilliant! My very own outfit! Hey! hey. So, Small, Fenella must have made your clothes earlier on her sewing machine. Wow! Look at me! Designer clothes in my size! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come on, give us a twirl, Small! Woohoo! <laughs> right, let's go out and show off our brand new designer clothes. Come on, Small! Bye, everyone! See you soon! Well, it's a wonderful day. Got a big smile on my face. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> the perfect place to come on a wonderful day like today. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You sound like a very happy chappy today, Ben. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it seems like Ben has more than just a smile on his face. He's got a big red spot too. Ooh. Hey. Uh, small. Why are you staring at me? Staring? Yes. Maybe you think I look rather handsome today. <laughs> it's not that, Ben. I'm staring at your spot. What spot? That one on your chin. Where? <laughs> there. Oh, it's no good. I can't see it. I need a mirror. But we don't have a mirror, Ben. Why don't you try seeing your reflection in something shiny, like a saucepan lid? Good idea, little cook. Right. Oh, there we are. Here we go. Let's have a look at this spot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My face looks all funny in this, little cook. It's sort of fat and sort of thin at the same time. <laughs> but I still can't see this spot, though. Oh! Sounds like we've got a customer. I'll have to worry about that later. Go and see who it is, little cook. I'm on my way. So who's our customer today, Small? 
Well, she's white with brown spots. Hmm. White with brown spots, you say? Give us another clue. She likes to go moo. And she's very good at jumping over the moon. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Oh, it's Clover, the cow who jumped over the moon. You're right, Ben. Clover the cow. Now, what would a moon jumping cow like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One evening, I was camping out under the stars when I was suddenly awoken by the sound of a fiddle. Followed by loud laughter. <laughs> I poked my head out of the tent and saw a cat playing the fiddle, whilst a little dog, a cow, a china dish, and a silver spoon danced together beneath the moon. When the music stopped, I cheered. Hello, laughed the little dog. Come and watch Clover the cow. She's going to jump over the moon. It was. Be easy," said Clover. "The moon is in a bit of a silly mood." Everyone looked up at the moon. "Silly Billy me!" it giggled, and it bounced around the sky. We all held our breath as Clover tried to jump over the moon, but it kept bouncing away. "I wish the moon would keep still," Clover groaned. I can't jump over it. Suddenly, I had an idea. You are such a beautiful moon. It stopped bouncing and listened. So creamy and dreamy. I continued. You're nearly as beautiful as the other moon. What other moon? Said the moon. It's there, floating on top of the lake. I said. The moon stayed very still as it stared at its own reflection in the lake. And whilst it was staring, moo! Clover the cow leapt right over it. Hooray! I cheered. There isn't really a moon more beautiful than you. I told the moon. It's just your own reflection in the water. <laughs> Silly Billy me! Giggled the moon, admiring its own reflection. And suddenly, it saw Clover's reflection too, just as she jumped over it. Hee <laughs> hee! We look wonderful together, Clover," said the moon. So Clover kept jumping, and the little dog laughed and laughed. <laughs> little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. So Clover jumped over the moon, and the moon was very pleased indeed. Thanks to you, Small. Thanks, Ben. So, what can we cook for a hungry moon leaper? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Ben. Ooh. <sighs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book, in Big Cook's book. Aha! Here we go. I found just the recipe for clover. It's creamy, it's dreamy, and a little bit dotty too. It's spotty trifle, and it's spotty just like clover the cow. <laughs> it's moopa doopa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. Okay, let's see. We're going to need jelly. Oh, jelly! Yes. Here we go. Jelly in the cupboard. Oh, we're using strawberry, but you can use any flavour you like. Trifle sponges in the cupboard as well. Got the trifle sponges, small. Jam. Oh, jam! Yes, lovely jam. Yep. A tin of fruit cocktail. Oh, very fruity. Got the fruit cocktail. Custard. 
Oh, lovely yellow custard. I love this. Got it, Small. Chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons. Oh, lovely chocolate buttons. I love these in the fridge. Chocolate buttons. Got those too, Small. And some cream for whipping. Oh, delicious cream. Here we go. Oh, right. OK. There we are. Right. Small, we don't seem to have any cream for whipping. Oh, no. But it's OK, because we've got everything else. So why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get all the ingredients ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I love the countryside. That's grass. Something is eating the grass. What is it? It's a cow. Ooh. <laughs> this is a milking parlour. Pipes are put on the cow's udders to suck out the milk. I wonder where the milk goes next. Hey, what's in that big tanker? Oh, it's full of the milk from the cows. The milk is being delivered to the dairy. That man is connecting up a pipe so that the milk can travel from the tanker into the dairy to be made into cream. This is the dairy. The milk is heated up to just the right temperature and it travels through all these pipes. The cream is separated from the milk. Hey, that's the cream! Now the cream is poured into this machine. It's called a pasteuriser. The cream is heated up to get rid of any harmful bugs. This makes it safe to eat. The cream is now cool and ready to put into bottles. Remember to keep your cream in the fridge. I'd better get some of this cream back to the cafe. See you later. Mirror, mirror, made of foil. Help me see my big red boil. Way! I'm back. Have you managed to see your spot yet, Ben? <laughs> Not yet, Small. This foil's too crinkly. Well, let's get on with making the trifle. It'll cheer you up. Woohoo! And I brought back the cream. Woohoo! Woo ho ho! Well done, Small. It's so scrummy and creamy. I had a great time. I saw cows being milked. Moo! <laughs> and then I went to the dairy where I saw cream being made. Oh, yummy! Come on then, Small. Let's get started. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Spotty Trifle? You do. There was jelly. One packet of your favourite flavour. We're using strawberry. Trifle sponges. Four. Jam. One tablespoon of your favourite flavour. Again, we're using strawberry. Fruit cocktail. One tin. Custard. One carton. Chocolate buttons. One packet. And cream for whipping. 250 millilitres. Whoopee! Let's get started! I've cut the trifle sponges in half, and now I'm going to cover them in the sticky jam. Hoo-hoo! There's one. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Oh, I love jammy jobs. <laughs> so do I. Finish the last one off. 
Nice and jammy. <laughs> On goes the top. And we can lay the trifle sponges at the bottom of a trifle bowl. There we are. Oh, I think I'll have to keep my eye on Little Cook so he doesn't eat all the jam. He can't resist it. Mm. I'm just checking the jam's nice and fresh. <laughs> oh, yes. And now you've got a jammy moustache. <laughs> I love jam. <laughs> oh, right. These sponges are lovely and jammy now, so I'm going to sieve the juice from the fruit cocktail into a bowl to separate the fruit from the juice. And this is a slippy, sloppy job, so look out you don't get dripped on, little cook. <laughs> Drip this way, please, Ben. Mm. <laughs> right, now I can sprinkle the fruit over the sponges. You can use fresh fruit if you like. Fruit is very good for you. <laughs> hey, Ben, how's your spot? I'd forgotten all about my spot until you reminded me. <laughs> right, now I've already dissolved the jelly cubes in some hot water. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do because the water is hot, hot, hot. Once the cubes have dissolved, we can pour it all over the sponges and the fruit. Do it quite carefully so that it doesn't splash. Splash this way, please, Ben. <laughs> when the jelly has cooled down, it needs to go in the fridge to set for two hours. So, over we go. And into the fridge. For two hours. The jelly is set now, so it's time to pour on the custard. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's like a lovely yellow custody waterfall. Is it time to put the cream on now, Ben? Yes, it is small and it's going to get gloopy, so stand well back. <laughs> Pour the cream into a bowl like this and then start mixing. It'll start to get thicker. <laughs> An electric whisk will help, but I'm going to try and do it with my arm. Be careful, Ben! <laughs> oh no! I've been splashed! <laughs> oh, whoops! Sorry, Small! Now look who's got spots! <laughs> <laughs> I better go and get myself cleaned up! <laughs> now the cream's ready when it starts to make little mountain peaks like this. So once it's ready, we can start to spread it on the custard. So, I'm going to take a spoon and onto the custard it goes. And we've got lots of it, so get it all on. There we go. Lovely and creamy. And spread it out. Nice and smooth. <laughs> what about the spots, Ben? A spotty trifle needs spots. Ho <laughs> ho, whoops, I almost forgot. To make the trifle spotty, we cover it with chocolate buttons. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. <laughs> there. And when the trifle's nice and spotty, it's finished. Quick, Ben. Get it to clover the cow while it's still nice and cool. OK, then. One spotty trifle coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest. 
cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Clover the cow enjoyed her spotty trifle. Look small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for the scrumptious spotty trifle. Hoo -hoo! I'm very busy moon jumping these days. The moon keeps still most of the time. She loves watching our reflections in the lake. Oh, talking about reflections, I have a moon mirror for each of you. I hope your spot goes soon, Big Cook Ben. Big moose from Clover. Look, Small, it's mirrors. Here's your mirror, Small. Thanks, Ben. Oh, how very kind of Clover. And how very handsome. <laughs> Aha, at last, a mirror. Now let's have a look at this spot. Uh! Oh, hang on a minute. That's not a spot. Oh, it's a blob of tomato sauce. Oh, see you soon. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. We'll cook for everyone.